Hi, Vadim here. In previous videos we've met with all trigger inputs and outputs of ornament. I have shown you that rhythms constructed with ornament is not a static array of points, but an organized structure. Every ornament rhythm is a function depends on the patch and time parameters of cells. Change in cell division factor changes the rhythm. This workflow reminds me real dramas. Experienced drummer then improvising just controls his flow of energy and emotions and apply it to the instrument. Drummer has arms and legs and can make only limited set of actions at the time. Similarly, ornament let you control flow of events and direct them to different destinations with quite human-like manner. All rhythms constructed in previous videos were interesting but quite static because time parameters always stay constant. In this video I'm going to show you how to bring dynamics and breathing to the rhythm. This video is about modulation of time parameters. Every ornament cell has two modulation inputs – x2 input and cv input. In this video I'll cover how x2 input works. Instead of starting patch from metronome loop, you can use sync from any other synth you like, or by MIDI. For details see part 5. Let cell 1 triggers hi-hat module with division factor of 1. Let cell 2 triggers bass drum module with the same division factor. To modulate time parameter and hence division factor, I am going to use x2 input. If apply positive voltage to x2 input of cell, time parameter will be increased as well as the divide factor. This description of x2 input is quite enough for my purposes, but exhaustive and precise description of how this input works see in manual. Where can I get positive voltage? Firstly, pulsar out of cell can generate 10 volts. For details of voltage levels and connectivity see part 1. As well, you can use any Eurorack module which generates CV signal. Connect pulsar out of cell 3 to X2 input of cell 2. Every time cell 3 is active, division factor of kick cell will increase. But instead of manual activation of cell 3, let's add it to the patch so that different parts of patch start interact with each other. Let cell 3 trigger snare drum and modulate time parameter of kick. Connect cell 2 pass out to cell 3 trick input. Let's listen to rhythm. This rhythm is complex and more dynamic than all previous examples. Let's add straight kick cell based on frequency divider with constant division factor to compensate all this complexity. Patch is so simple, but changing no positions allows to get various results. Also, I can modulate not only time parameters of ornament, but sound parameters of pulsar. Snare cell pulsar out modulates kick pitch, and kick envelope modulates snare filter frequency. Sounds really great. We get rhythm which has causal feedback loop. 
Amount of incoming to snare cell events depends on kick cell division factor, but value of this factor modulated by snare cell pulsar out. In other words, if ordinary ornament rhythm is a function of patch and time parameters, then now it's a function of itself behavior. It's still periodical, but behavior of this pattern complex and unpredictable in tiny details. However, you're still able to control its dynamics. That's insane. More feedback loops you add to the patch, more entangled and complex it becomes. Experimenting with feedbacks is infinite source of breathing sequences, which you cannot perform by yourself or generate with any exciting software. Ornament synthesizer sequences like Lyra or Pulsar voices generate sound. Ornament can be a true source of inspiration for those who search for non-trivial but groovy rhythms. In new video I'll show you how to modulate ornament cells time parameter even more with power of CV input and output.